Well, it's a Sunday and I'm bored, so I'm out on this shed. And this week I've been uh, at college for three days of the week doing an English and maths course, which, you know, quite hilarious, you know, having taught Canadians how to say twat and cunt properly, but there you go. But anyway, that's my point of this video. I'm going to be uh, doing a taste test of something, which I'll... Well, you already know the title of the video, so... Yeah, so an MRE. thought I'd never do these, but oh well. But anyway, for now, I'm going to put that oops, along there, replacing that black pond liner so I can get more light in here. So, if you excuse me, I'm just going to work on that now. Well, that crack wasn't there before the useless waste of space was here. So much ventilation out here. All these broken bits of glass and panes that have slipped open. <sighs> oh, hang on. There's another crack. That was definitely not there. So remember, I knocked one of these out. Which was, I think was this one here. Yeah. I knocked that one out when I was moving the workbench and I didn't crack any windows. So... Uh, I didn't even notice that gap before. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, this shed. I'll be amazed if this thing's still standing after this uh, coming storm on Tuesday. But we'll see. Well, that's one side done, although I did have to deal with the sounds of small dogitis, you know. Oh, sudden noise, miles away from me. Must bark at it. Bark, 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 Beautiful. Now I got to that one and I kind of ran out of stuff. Hang on, I need to do the manual backlighting thing. Yeah. So I've had to tack it up up there and then zip tie it on down here because there wasn't anywhere to tack it on down at the bottom, like all the other places where I just tapped in some shed roof felt tacks, which the ones that fell on post and down there a while back. But yeah. Instantly, it feels a lot brighter. So just move up here. Yeah, that's nice. So I don't have to rely on the uh, lights so much. Brilliant. And all that uh, stuff is is just a, a dust sheet from the uh, the favourite haunt of the cheapskate YouTuber, Poundland. Anyway, on with the show. I'm going to just dig out my stuff from in there. Well, I've got to make the table for dinner, haven't I? Right, now I've got the camera set up as a top-down thing. I'm going to introduce what I'm about to sample. So, this here is an MRE. It's basically a North American individual ration for one meal. This particular one is the brisket, brisket entry. Um, hang on a second. That's better. It's a brisket entree, and I've watched a few of these on YouTube, and it does actually look quite good. So, well, this will be the first time I've ever actually had an MRE. In the past, I've had um, British ration packs, which I was going to do a video on last year, and that's why I've got several of these boxes, which, well, you can see it's a combat ration, 24 hours, and menu 7. I couldn't find any of those in you know, arrangements which I liked every component. There were some which I liked some bits, some I didn't like other bits. Particularly one where it had a, a chocolate brownie which tasted like Hershey's, Hershey's chocolate. And if you know what Hershey's chocolate tastes like, then yes, it tasted like vomit. But anyway, I'm going to open this up now. So apparently this has a peelable seal. So watch me fumble away at this, because I'm not exactly uh, well endowed with thumbnails, because I'm a habitual nail chewer. Right, there we go. So you just pull it apart. Let's look at this. Hooky knife. Yeah. <laughs> so you just pull it apart, and inside is the contents, which are also wrapped up in their own plastic bag, which 
I think it should be easy enough to tear open. Yes, it is. Now I'm hearing something hitting or not. I don't know if that's beverages or the FRH or whatever. Anyway, get this out of the way. So, what have we got here? We've got the brisket entree gravy with seasoned beef brisket slices. Probably should have lights going in here, but yeah. So that's that. And in this one, we've got garlic mashed potatoes. And I just realised the auto image stabilisation thing's on. Oh well. This, oh, I'll turn that off in a second. We've got the accessory packet, which has no coffee in it because this apparently doesn't come with coffee. We've got uh, ooh, a chocolate chip cookie. Lovely. The other ones I've watched, they had an oatmeal cookie, so lovely. I hope it doesn't have a Hershey's uh, chocolate in it though. Oh crap. And next one in here is the crackers, which they, um, judging by the shape of them, I think they're probably dust by now. Uh, oh, Twizzlers. Now, this is something that amuses us Brits because here in the UK we had something called turkey Twizzlers, which were basically spirally sausages. If I remember to, I'll put a picture here. They were quite common to see in schools and I used to eat them at school as well and they're actually quite horrible. <laughs> so Twizzlers that aren't turkey Twizzlers, this is going to be interesting to say the least. But at least they say the cherry flavour which I like. And what's left? We've got a carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder fruit punch. Now, does this contain uh, aspartame? No. It doesn't. Good. So, how much water does this take? This takes 12 ounces of water, which I think is about 600 ml, so probably is all of that, but I'm going to make mix it up a bit strong, so treat. I've got cheese spread. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this because I'm not really a fan of um, squeezy cheeses. I mean, over here we have something called Primula, which is basically this stuff. You know, cheese in a tube. Yeah. Spoon. Yeah, just spoon. Yeah. yeah, whatever. If you don't know what a spoon is, then you fail. This stuff. Butter buds. So this is definitely something we do not get in the UK. Um, all, all natural, apparently. Oh, hello, sunlight. Um, What's in it? Malted extrin, natural butter flavour, dried butter. How do you dry butter? It's mostly made out of fat. Uh, salt, guar gum, baking soda, anatto, turmeric, and contains milk. So, I might need these. And finally, the ever infamous FRH. Sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Hopefully this works. I like this bit. Vapors released by activated heater contain hydrogen, a flammable gas. Do not place by an open flame in the vapour. That sounds fun. <laughs> I was wondering what the stuff was in here. I was wondering if it's going to be like calcium carbide or something which would release acetylene gas, which is even worse. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the main entree ready. So, uh, um, yeah. Hooky blade again. Okay, cut a bit more off than I wanted to. Uh, I've watched other people doing this, so I presume I've got to take this out. Remember, don't eat because it's not a you know a hot pocket or a you know them. Oh, what do you call them? <laughs> yeah, it's not a pop tart. Probably won't remember that. Grab the garlic mashed potatoes. I do like garlic mashed potatoes, as long as they're homemade. Brisket entree. You have to use one of these boxes to shove the thing back into, apparently. Sandwich this between these. And then somehow you shove it all into here. Right, 
do not overfill. Oh, I guess you filter there. I don't know why I'm guessing, I know I'm not to fill up over there. I've seen these enough times. Right. Grab the water. From Poundland's finest aluminium water bottles. I wasn't going to pay 10 quid for one. Yeah. Let's see if we can get this in here. Probably slightly overfilled it. All right. All right, now we fold over the top. Uh, is it one fold or two? No, yeah, fold, one fold. Then shove it into a carton. And and I'm going to place it off to the side by the uh, vent hatch. Although I need to find a rock or something. There's an or something. Anything happening? Mm. Oh well, we'll come back to that. Right, so whilst we wait for that to uh, cook or heat or do something, I'm going to have a look at them crackers. So, yeah, like I said, I think they're um, broken. <laughs> mm, a bit of a hiss. I won't say it was a nice hiss. Yeah, these are dust. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. They smell a bit odd, but then again, they're shelf stable things, so. Can I have a quick taste of one of these, dry? Some Americans complain about us Brits not having enough salt and things. Um, need salt. Because there is none. Bloody hell. That's awful. Sorry to all you MRE aficionados, but they are truly Terrible. Uh, I guess I suppose uh, I've got to apply some salt in the form of uh, this stuff. So apparently I'm supposed to knead it, just in case it's separated out, because you know, real cheese separates out of its big lumpy block form, doesn't it? Cookie blade. Mm, no, I don't want that there. That wasn't a big enough hole. And here we go. Oh jeez, look at that. It's coming out in nice ribbons though. Like I say, we have stuff like this in the UK called Primula and... Yeah, it smells about the same. You guys actually eat this stuff? Now, I'll say I'm not much of a fan of cold cheese, but... Oh god, that is just... dreadful. Uh, I guess I've got to sample it on a, a cracker. Uh... <laughs> well, I suppose it slightly improves each other's tastes. Started falling apart. Now I'm getting used to the flavour. The two together, it does produce a kind of butteriness about it, with a hint of fake cheese. <sighs> I guess I'll chuck this one down me through it as well. Yeah. You have my condolences, people who are in the US Army for eating this. Unless you actually like it. Anyway, I'm just going to check the uh, FRH. I'm feeling a bit of warmth down here. But overall, I'm not really feeling anything else up here. Oh well. Anyway, oh, I didn't look in the accessory packet, did I? Not that it's difficult to look into it. So, what have we got in here? <coughs> Excuse me. We've got a moist towelette. We've got chewing gum, which apparently causes diarrhea in some people. Joy. 
We've got a lemon lemonade beverage base. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Aspartame. Hmm. Contains aspartame. I'm not having it. Sorry. Aspartame is a bloody horrible substance, which makes me very ill for at least two days after having it. So I'm not risking that. Iodized salt. Ooh. I guess that's where the salt is, you know, sprinkle off the crackers. Well, just that an impromptu visit from my uncle there, so <laughs> he just uh, sampled the um, cheese and the crackers and yeah, from him, thumbs down. <laughs> anyway, yes, that was um, this, um, the final piece of the accessory packet. Depending on which makes the most mess, these are either toilet roll or napkins. So, lovely um, high quality paper. <laughs> So, don't think I'll need them because I've got plenty of bog roll in the house. But whilst my uncle was here, I was waiting for the uh, FRH to do its thing, and it turns out it wasn't actually wet. So, uh, I mean, it's trying to do its thing. And, don't know if you can hear that. There is some hissing and sizzling. Whatever happened to the old spirit of just boiling a bit of water? Hmm? I suppose I'll have a bit more cheese on the crackers. Let's see if we can do a whole piece like that. Ugh. No. <laughs> no. Right. Right. Directions for you. Okay, so. Seems easy enough. Oh, that smell is coming off that. Synthetic. Mm, lovely bright pink powder. How <laughs> is it? Yeah, 12 ounces of water. I'm going to have to do less because I don't have 12 ounces of water. I only have probably about 10 ounces in here and I've had a few drinks from it so it's probably less. I'll save the rest. <laughs> Shaky, squirted all over the place. See, lovely. Well, that was a success. Great, I got pink fingers. I don't have anything to sit this in or on. Maybe I can squeeze it into there. No, I'm not pouring it in. I'm sitting it. Right, pop that to the side. Um, well, I guess I will need the uh, bum wipe. Already stained my fingers. Put me neck. What dyes do we put in these things? Seriously, America, you need to step up your game when it comes to artificial colourings. <sighs> I'm just killing time right now because I'm waiting for this bloody FRH to do its thing. <laughs> Bit egg, that stinks. Because <coughs> I'm sure you'll get some uh, comments from military personnel that say. Well, we don't have time to wait for it to heat up, we just heat it cold. So, well, I do, so, you know, I'm a civvy. Uh, whilst I'm still waiting for that, I'm just going to give this a stir with the spoon. See, now it's much easier to stir with a spoon than it is to shake and end up spilling the stuff everywhere. So, let's see what this stuff tastes like. Mm. Cheap, tropical flavoured stuff. Do you know, in this time I could have boiled a pan of water, put those two meals into it, let them heat up, and be eating them now. <laughs> Blameless ration heaters are an interesting idea, but practically speaking, meh. I'm beginning to see why they have the cheese and crackers. I guess I'll board a bloody weight and you actually eat this crap. The reason why I'm not opening the cookies or the uh, Twizzlers just yet is, you know, I want them to save them for afters. Because, you know, eat your mains and then your desserts. <sighs> the more I eat, the worse it tastes. Oh, God. But you know what they say, waste not want that.
I don't know. I'm going to have to get myself some more water. Back in a sec. Back again. Decided to put some washing out whilst I waited for the FRH. And is the FRH hot enough? Barely. That's kind of warm at best. Hmm. I'll give an hour waiting for that bloody stuff to heat up. Why don't I just break into this and see what it's like? Uh, I don't feel like it's vacuumed anymore, but. Hmm. Hopefully it's not gone bad. Hmm. Looks good. Smells good. It's broken. Oh, oh well. Tastes good. Hmm. I mean, there are flavours in there which. They don't taste quite right to my palate because these are, you know, North American recipe. Shelf stabilized and all that. And there's something in there that tastes synthetic. But overall, it tastes good. And you can see there's actual chunks of chocolate in there. Uh, and, no, oh, hang on, that's just coming loose. <laughs> Yeah. Mm, can't beat good chocolate chip cookies. Nom nom. Ow. I just realised I put the FRH back in upside down. <laughs> Whoops. Mm, yeah, I'm giving up now. I can't be asked waiting any longer. So, this one is the um, beef brisket. This one is the mesh. And honestly, that's not warm. Well, it's hot, but not hot enough. So, slightly lukewarm potatoes. The only trouble with mashed potatoes is when it's reconstituted and reheated, they never taste quite right. So, the beef brisket. Yeah, that's when I'm tear across the length because, you know, I can use this as a, a bowl. Now you can see it's not heated up properly, it's still all coagulated and all that. Lovely. It smells like canned stewed steak, so I don't think I'm going to be too disappointed by this, apart from the fact that it's cold. Yeah, that's, that's just not hot enough. Well, I'm just doing a taste test now, where well, I can stick this in the microwave later. Cheating or what? Um, let's see if I can find a nice bit of meat. There's a couple of pieces. They kind of look like they've uh, been smoked, but whether that's real smoke or just soaked in something to brine it to make it look smoky, I don't know. Anyway, bottoms up. Like I said when I opened it and smelled it, that tastes just like stewed steak in a can. That's not unpleasant at all, I mean, apart from the fact that it's cold. Not that it was really cold. <laughs> the only trouble is with stewed steak is, personally I like to use stewed steak as an ingredient in something. Not as something to, you know, have as a meal. <laughs> and once again this is a slice along the top. Squish it all down. I mean this is a very miserly portion of mashed potato. For me, my portion of mashed potato has to fill this bowl. <laughs> it's not as garlicky as I'd like it. it. Kind of smells a bit like something you'd get in a school cafeteria. Like low budget, cheap stuff. Then again, nothing but the best for uh, the military, eh? And again, I'm not really one to talk when our government keeps selling off portions of the military, you know, selling off our warships, selling off our navy, selling off this, that, and the other. And of course, there's that um, butter buds to try, but I'm going to try the mashed potato on its own first. Yeah, cold mash. 
God, that doesn't have to take me back to school. And not in a good way. <laughs> Those aren't nice. Well, I'll try this uh, butter bud stuff you know, on my fingers. Actually, I'm going to quick taste of that stuff. A little pinch of stuff and... Tastes like margarine. Not butter. And if your butter tastes like this in the US... Ugh. Ah, now some buttery mashed potatoes. Not much so terrible. And the two together. Got a piece of meat there, right? Come here. Well, the taste of the um, beef stuff does kind of disguise the taste of that stuff. So together, it kind of, you know, yeah, sort of works. Anyway, what's that taste tested? I'll microwave that later and eat, and eat it properly. Let's try these Twizzlers out. I've never actually had Twizzlers. Did, or did I get some in that huge box that Eric sent me? I can't remember. So, for us Brits, these are, you know, little nuggets of red stuff. Uh, I'll try a couple of them. So, quite hard. Uh, That's a texture of red licorice, which has nothing to do with licorice, it's just, you know, basically this stuff, if you know what these are. So, yeah, I approve of them. And to wash it down with, um, I'm going to try a big glug of this. Joy. <laughs> no. <sighs> right, see now I'm starting to lose a bit of light because it seems to be clouding over, which is bloody wonderful. See now I've got me washing out. Uh, I'm going to call the end of the video here. Um, overall, I wasn't all that impressed with it, but then again, I wasn't really expecting to be impressed by this because it's, you know, but you know that was good, and that bit's good, but the rest of it, eh, well, these are good as well. Yeah. So that was my rather poor taste test of uh, US MRE, the beef brisket entree with all this. I'm not going to do the lemonade, I'm not going to try the salt and towelette and the chewing gum because, you know, salt is salt, a towelette's a towelette and chewing gum, well, is chewing gum. And that stuff, the lemonade, well, I don't want to suffer the shits for the next two weeks. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment, there you go down below. If you want to subscribe, the little round thing will be over here in this empty space. And until next time, Bye.